Hello everyone, welcome to my Facebook Live. I'm adjusting the camera again. <laughs> welcome to my Facebook Live. I'm Ruth Norton with Ruth Stamming Corner. Hold on guys, sorry. It seems like it's low today. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, I think I think that's a little better. Welcome to my Facebook Live today. I have an adorable little box to share with you. Look at what we're going to make. And inside some little dove chocolate candies in there it is so cute it's it's small it's easy to make you're gonna love this and look how cute that little guinea pig is he's adorable um i'm gonna show you a different version too if you if you don't necessarily want to do the guinea pig um i'm gonna show you a different version all right so before we get into the project though i have a lot to talk about so let's jump right in paper pumpkin for june it's gonna be the pick of the crop it's gonna be a super cute paper pumpkin this one's gonna have like um the little previews I've seen have been like, you know, you're the pick of the crop, you're the, um, there's been like little raspberries or something. It's going to be adorable. I'm excited about this one. Plus there's going to be a little add-on kit for this one or an add-on option. You can add on little bags that are going to, I don't think there's a picture on here. There's going to be an add-on kit for this or an add-on option for this one. So it's going to be super cute. I'm really excited about this one. If you want this one, make sure you subscribe by June 10th. If you missed May's Paper Pumpkin, I did the unboxing over the weekend. I think it was Saturday. I did the unboxing, and that one was adorable. That one was the all new in colors. That one was great. The video is in my VIP group or on my YouTube channel. You can check it out. Um, if you are a Paper Pumpkin subscriber of mine, I'm working on that PDF today, and I hope to get it out to you today, if not tomorrow, at the latest. So, all right. If you are loving those in colors if you did your paper pumpkin and you love those in colors we are in our final days this is actually the last time i'm going to remind you guys about this but we are in our final days for the um in color starter kit so the starter kit is 99 dollars. you get to choose 125 in product but this month only you're also going to get these items for free these in color items you're going to get in color grid paper you're going to get all five of the in color ink pads you're going to get in color cardstock and in color dsp all for free. It's over a $66 value, all for free in your starter kits. Your starter kit's $99. You choose $125 in product. You get 66 something and some change for free on top of that. Plus you get free shipping, plus you get a free paper pumpkin. So it's an incredible, incredible value. So if you have a thought about joining paper or joining Stampin' Up, if you want a discount on your products, if you want all those demonstrator perks, you're running out of time. This promotion is only good until May 31st. Now, the starter kit will be available after May 31st. Of course, you can join anytime. It's always a good time to join. But if you want those extra perks with the in-color products, that is only for another few days until May 31st. All right. I released yesterday on my blog my June card crate, and we are focused, We are using the Cheerful Basket Bundle for my June card crate. Card crate is my class to go. It comes to your mailbox, and the cards this month, they are amazing. Now, there's going to be a lot of coloring with this card crate, and so I've listed all the, the stamp and blends that you're going to need for for this month um, on my on the my blog that talks about card crate. Um, so you don't have to color them the way I've colored them. So if you don't have all the stamp blends, you don't want to purchase them right now. That's okay. You can color these with um, watercolor pencils. You can color them with ink pads, blender pens, whatever you want. I use stamp and blends on mine, um, but you can color them however you want. Card Crate is $35. It includes $20 in product. It includes free shipping. You can add on the bundle if you need to. If you need this cheerful basket bundle, you can add it on. You will need the bundle to complete the cards. The projects will not come stamped or die cut. Um, and you know, this month it's so good. The cards are a little bit over the top, which I love, but um, it's it's a good one this month. So if you want the card crate this month, the cheerful basket bundle, uh, make sure you let me know. And there's details in the video description, just head to my blog and all the details on card crate are there. All right guys, so before we get into the project, I did wanna show you guys a few of our new prepackaged little treat bags and stuff. So I have them here, I'm gonna show you guys these. Um, these are some of our newer ones and they are adorable. I always love getting the, the prepackaged bags and little boxes because, you know, sometimes you just need a really cute, quick, quick little treat item. And so these are great. So this one, the first one is, are these, these are the peekaboo treat bags. Now you're going to get, um, them in this like crumb cake craft color and then also in white. And I want to show you their examples in the catalog because they're kind of like, well, what does that mean? But, um, here is the little examples. You can see they filled up the bag 
and there's like a little cellophane section on the bag that that will highlight whatever is in your bag and then you can just decorate your bag however you want these are really cute so you get a set of 10 for six dollars for these these are super cute and they're a little bit smaller than i thought which i actually like i thought they were going to be really big and bulky but they are um they're a good size i really like these all right the next one that i wanted to share these are the flip my catalog around these are the delicate treat boxes is that what it says yeah delicate details treat boxes it is 11.50 you get eight boxes um they come in that big package you saw that giant it's like a 12 by 12 package they come in there they already have adhesive so basically all you have to do is fold them up on the score lines and adhere them just like this just adhere it like that and then you have an adorable little treat box so this one is definitely one of my favorites i can't wait to make this one and play with it and so on page 28 you can see that that little sample that they've done there they've stuck a piece of cardstock behind here so that the those details show a little bit more but this is a good one too i can't wait to to do more with that one and then finally the other one that i got let me see where is it let's see it's on page 55 is their sample and this is the embossed treat bags and these i love so they're kind of like they have a little pleat on the side there's a little handle they're embossed as they say you can see all those those beautiful lines they're going to hold a lot it's a good size bag and i love that they're white you can do whatever you want with them on this sample they actually filled a spritzer with some reinker and then they sprayed it to um, create their bag there so so adorable all right now if you want to purchase any of these and you have your catalog they are all on page 140 in the catalog they're all down here on page 140 so check out those um i know that sometimes we all just need a quick little treat bag and the treat bags this year were awesome. So in the brand new catalog. So I wanted to share those with you guys because I know how much you guys love treat bags like me. Little treat bags, little treat boxes. Okay, let's get to our, our little box. If you are placing an online order, please send to my um, online store. This is my host code for May. This will be good through May 31st. On June 1st, I will have a new um, host code. All right, <laughs> all right, let's get started. Here we are with our little box. So it is a little slider box. Like I said, it'll hold three of those little Dove chocolates. So we're actually going to start with the, the box. So let's start with that. Get out your Simply Scored. Grab mine. Your Simply Scored. You're going to need a piece of cardstock. I'm using Pool Party for mine. You're going to need a piece that is six and a fourth by three and three fourths. And on all four sides, you're going to score at five eighths. And on your Simply Scored, 5 eighths is the little line between half an inch and between three quarters of an inch. So you're going to score 5 eighths and one and a quarter. You're going to do that all the way around. So just turn it, score 5 eighths and one and a quarter, turn it, and do the same thing on all four sides. Okay, and that is all of our scoring. So I'm going to put that away. Now, this is um, a version of like a matchbox slider, and I've made matchbox sliders a lot. When I make a matchbox slider, I like to reinforce the sides. So you'll see that the sides are like, they're folded over so that they're a little bit sturdier. The reason I do that is because when you're pushing and pulling this, you want those to be nice and sturdy on the sides so that they don't bend out of shape or warp or even worse tear you want your box to to last so I always do like double the score lines here to reinforce them all right so let's do some cutting so holding it with the long side you're gonna cut up both of those score lines I'm gonna start on the left side here cut up both of the score lines and we're going to take out the two on the end and I'm actually gonna notch in on this little piece right here I'm gonna cut out this square and I'm going to notch it on this piece and then on the square right here that we left I'm going to notch in on that as well okay so that's what we're doing we're kind of removing that L and then we're going to notch in on all of those sides and I'm going to do the same thing to all four sides so cut up those score lines you're going to remove this L and I just or this these two squares on the end I just notch in as I do that I'm going to notch this in and then fold that up. We're going to take out this square and we're going to notch in these this little tab right here. 
these little square tabs are going to get folded into the box and we're going to cover them up so nobody is ever going to see them. So you do not need to worry about them being perfect or straight. They will be completely hidden. All right, so just knock this in and one more. One more on this side. All right, and let's get this notched. And take this square out. Okay, that is, that completes our trimming. I'm gonna lay this flat so you can see what I did, okay? Now I'm gonna use some Stamp and Seal Plus for this. You can use tear and tape or whatever you want, and I'm gonna turn it over and I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of adhesive on each of those square tabs. And then I'm gonna flip it back over this way where our folds are kinda of going in. And on all of the outside tabs, I'm going to put adhesive. You can use tear and tape, you can use whatever strong adhesive you want. All right, so on all four of those outside tabs, we have adhesive and then we have adhesive on the, the little square tabs. So you're gonna take this score line, you're gonna line it up with that cut edge all the way around okay just like that and tuck those in those will get tucked in and last one all right now once you have all those in the sides will just fold right in just like that you can just go around and fold them in and then i like to take my bone folder just make sure everything is nice and secure give that a good press and that will Conceal all those little tabs. You, you never see those little tabs. They're all hidden away in there. And it makes your box nice and sturdy. This really makes for a good, strong box. All right, for the belly band, you're going to need a piece of DSP. I am using the, this is the Design of Daydream DSP. This is the host patterns. Let me see if I can pull some of this out. It is a gorgeous stack of DSP. And you can only get this DSP with your Stampin' Rewards. So we'll just flip through this really quick. You can only get it with your Stampin' Rewards. That means when your order is over 150, you can choose products in the catalog to shop for it for free. You get a portion of your purchase back. You get it for free. And you can choose host exclusive items. And that includes this DSP. It's gorgeous. So if you're placing a larger order, if you want to gather some friends together to place a larger order, get that DSP. It is it's a stunner. All right, so my piece of DSP, I said it was three and three quarters by five, and I'm just gonna take it, and I'm just gonna pinch it, and wrap it around my box. I don't generally score my belly bands. I don't feel that that's necessary because you want them kind of loose. You don't want them super tight. All right, <coughs> excuse me. All right, I'm gonna take one end, and I'm gonna put some adhesive on that end. And actually, before I adhere it down, I just want to go through on those sides that I pinched and just make sure that everything is lined up nice and straight. Okay, and a couple more over here. I don't want to glue that down. I've already put adhesive on that, so I'm going to make sure we don't press that down all the way. I want to wait till after you do this step before you press it down. And there we go. All right, then we're going to stick our belly band on here. Just wrap it around and it lines up perfectly and then your box will slide perfectly in and out. Alright, so let me show you what's in here. So I have the my last three little dove chocolates in here. There we go. They fit perfectly. And you can do any flavor. There's tons of little flavors of those dove chocolates. I love the dark chocolate ones. So and that's it. That's your little box. Isn't that cute? So you can make these a ton of these. Alright, let's do our stamping. For my stamping, I am using the Glad We're Friends stamp set. We're going to use this little guinea pig and the little gradient that says it's going to be a great day. And so let's do our stamping. I have a piece of white that I have die cut using the Stylish Shapes. Is that what it's called? Stylish Shapes dies. So this one is the second smallest one. And I've also, with those same dies, I've also die cut another piece of that DSP with the second smallest of those banner ones too. We'll use that in just a minute. So we're going to stamp our greeting on that one, and then I have another scrap piece of white that we're going to stamp our little guinea pig on. So in Memento, we're going to stamp our little, our sweet little guinea pig. Stamp them onto a piece of basic white. And then in Old Olive, 
I'm going to stamp the, the greeting. And I'm going to do it kind of in the top left of the circle. So we have room to put our guinea pig later, and that was an old olive. Okay, so set that aside. We're going to bring him back in. We're going to do some coloring with him. Now, I'm using the Natural Tones blends. I'm using the SU200 and the SU500. In my blog post that is going to go up following this video, you'll see that I just linked to all of the Natural Tones. We're going to be pulling out a few more in a minute. Um, I think it's worth it to just buy the entire collection. So I've just linked the entire collection, but you can buy these. Um, they come in five different groups. They come in like a deep, a medium deep, a medium, a medium light, and a light. So you can buy them individually in packs of two, but I think you'll use them all. So you might as well just, just get them all. So I'm taking the darkest one. This is the, the 200 that I'm using right now. And I'm just kind of outlining him kind of lightly on the left and right sides where he's going to be the darkest and under his little arms right here and then just along the, the sides there and that's really all I'm going to do with this one it's pretty dark and so I'm going to come in with my 500 and we're just going to kind of blend those out and just kind of fill in the the sides of his body there we're going to leave his belly and his face for right now we're going to come in with some different blends and do those. Watch his eyes go around carefully on his eyes. You don't want to color over his eyes. And just kind of try to blend those together. It's a very small image, so be very careful. Just kind of, I like to just kind of dot it, pull it gently into the the other sections. And you don't have to use stamp and blends. You can color with anything that you want. And if you don't have the natural tones, you can definitely color him with a variety of like maybe soft suede and crumb cake. That would be fine. That would work. So he's so cute already, isn't he? It's adorable. All right, so that is kind of his outside. Now for his for his little tummy, I'm going to use 700. And I'm going to leave his tummy mostly white, but I wanted to give him a little bit of shading. So I'm going to go under his arms and around his feet and then above his arms right here. And then I'm going to take the color lifter. And I'm just going to kind of blend that out. I'm just going to go over it and just soften it a little bit. Okay, a little bit up here just to tie it all in. This just gives him a little bit of shading, but it still gives him, but it still leaves him nice and, and white. So he has a little white belly. All right, now finally we're going to come in with the Stampin' Up! 1000 or SU1000. And I'm going to fill in his ears. This is kind of like a peach color. And I'm going to pull this one in because I forgot the top of his ear over here. So I'm going to color that. Okay. Do his ears. And then I'm going to give him some little cheeks with this one. So just some little round circles for his cheeks. And just bring in the color lifter and just go over his cheeks just lightly. And that will smooth everything out. Isn't that cute? He's so adorable. I just love him. All right. Now, you do have to fuss get him. There are no dies or punches for him. So I've already done that part in advance. We don't have to watch that part all right so let's get started so with the um, banner I'm actually going to cut that in half it's not wide enough to to show as much as I wanted to show so we're going to cut it in half and I'm going to stick a little bit of adhesive on this sides and I'm going to just kind of line that up a little bit make sure it's even on both sides you can cut a bigger banner but I thought the the neck size was too long so I wanted to use this this one. It was a little bit, it was more the size that I wanted, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. All right, now some dimensionals. We're going to put a dimensional on the back of him, and we're going to stick him onto our little circle here, and some dimensionals on the back of our little banner piece here. I'm just using the edges of my mini dimensionals, finishing up some packages of dimensionals here. All right. We're going to stick that right onto our box, the front of our box, and we're going to finish it with a bow. This is the um, Pool Party Sheer Ribbon. It's completely unraveling on my desk. So just tie a bow, and let's see, finagle it. Can't talk and tie a bow at the same time. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try that one again. That did not come out well. Okay. 
There we go. This one's coming out. All right, we're gonna do it the bunny way. Bunny ears. Only on videos, guys. Only on videos do we have bow problems. And we haven't had bow problems in a while. So I guess we were due. Okay. Finagle it. This ribbon is um, carried over. This isn't new in the catalog. Um, we had it last year, but I love it. All right. Grab your ribbon scissors and just trim the ends a little bit. Trim it off the spool, which is probably my problem the whole time. I was trying to tie it on the spool. All right. Grab a glue dot and find the glue dots and we're going to pick that up and then we're just going to stick that onto the bottom there isn't that cute so there's your little dove chocolate slider you can add some other embellishments if you wanted to i didn't think it needed it i think it was pretty cute like that now i did promise to show you a different one if maybe you wanted to go a different kind of route with these this is with the sending smiles stamp set so i just i use the same exact supplies this is the same um package of dsp that design a daydream dsp um the only thing i changed was the stamp set and the ribbon so this is a sending smile stamp set i use daffodil delight petal pink and blackberry bliss to do my stamping on this one but it holds the same ones and then the box is made from old olive instead of pool party and this is the old olive um twill ribbon that comes in the old olive and sahara sand pack so there you have it. You have a variety of little boxes here. So whether you want to go maybe more feminine, this would be good for like a bridal shower or something. This would just be good for anything, kids, anything. All right, guys, that is it for me today. Now I will be live next week and I have, let me show you what we're making next week. We're making a big treat next week. Isn't that cute? All right, we're making that one next week. Um, live on Wednesday morning next week. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you are shopping, make sure you head to my online store, use this host code. Um, this will be good through Monday. I think Monday is the 31st. Um, and then June 1st, I will have a new host code. You can watch my um, pages for that to be posted and it'll be on my blog as well. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day. If you're watching this on Facebook, please share with your friends. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe to my channel. That really helps me grow and helps me find new people. All right, guys, have a great day and I'll see you guys later. Bye.